The problem with black people. Brick on my friend to see. He did showing in that? Reacts. Bro, I did react to that. Touched it. Oh yeah, 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 yo, yo. I just see some shit crazy. Yo. Is that bit is that baddie for him? Yo, she needs to change her name though. I ain't gonna lie. Um I sent it in the chat. Let me show y'all, bro. Some crazy shit I seen this morning. It's like, yo, why do people do this, bro? I'll be so confused, bro. Where is it? Fucking focus, nigga. Randomly touching my ex's pussy to see her reaction. Are you fucking serious? React to it? Fuck no. My friend. All right, I'm going to react to it. how she reacts. She touched it. Yeah, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, what? Specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes Fucking to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Kenshin, Berlizzi, AMP, RDC, and many others. And then you got this other side with these creators that don't- I feel like you're being biased. Don't care about their content at all. What's my Discord link? Exclamation Discord. Gangi. You're too down with the gangi. With the gang, eh. I got mad commands, gang. You just gotta do exclamation command to see them shits. What care about is the money that comes with YouTube and all their videos are just Yo, your hairline is cooked, my brother. I'm sorry to, 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 to pause on you, gang. This shit is fried. Holy fuck. Around sexual things. One side is like that that comes with YouTube and all their videos are just based around sexual. She made bust. That shit has a hundred K. The nigga didn't even speak English in the fucking title. Yo, one thing I noticed, one thing I noticed when I started doing YouTube and shit, I realized that when I look at my form of content or just my thumbnails, you feel me? In my opinion, I would say my, my content and thumbnails is just somewhat up to par. It's like, you know, it's, it's high quality. You feel me? But then when I see when I see a regular person who's partnered on YouTube, they make their thumbnail anything. Even Burleazy, bro. I seen a Burleazy though. He posted some shit with with, with Spider Man, like some Spider Man gameplay, bro. The fucking thumbnail was so shitty and saturated, like it had like mad contrast and all that. But the shit has 500k views. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like this shit need like. Like, how does this have 100k views, bro? Because it because there's ass in the thumbnail? How yo, how is this even allowed? You can you can see her whole structure of her butt cheeks, gang. How like this has to be yellow marked. Things. One side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make, and the other side is like that $2 McDonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes, but the next day you feel like absolute. It's kind of like yin and yang, you know? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about that other side of black YouTube, the terrible side. Now, when it comes to the black community and content creation, I feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea, you know? There always has to be- Kind of like Miss Gaza? What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, nigga? No, 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 no clapping, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why did you just say that? Oh, because I said like her ass, but nah, 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 nah. You, 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 you just chill, bro. Nigga said we need her back. No, we don't. No, we don't. Be some sort of sexual spin to it. You can't just do a normal truth or dare. It has to be a freaky truth or dare. You can't just. I mean. Let's 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 put two and two together though, Cameron, whatever the fuck your name is. In reality, niggas who are watching YouTube are somewhat majority of them are children. If they're watching black content creators, they're children or teenagers. They want to see something exciting. If it's not Mr. Beast, it's gonna be black content creators trying to make something very explicit. Niggas is gonna watch it because it's explicit. Nigga, I post some shit like, oh, truth or dare with 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 they red gone freaky reach your roulette cards nigga that's just probably gonna give me my first ten thousand views probably or 8k something of that nature it's like it's just it's not it's simple math just go on a blind date it has to be a freaky blind date. i seen her pierce day, nipple seen on your stream i put my free your force do you think i'm a fool how you think i even like recognize you gang nigga you for you did you forget that you fucking clipped it and put it on fucking twitter you bitch ass nigga What's good, Javine? Yeah, it's Scragging. 
We are getting to the point in content creation where we're putting our parents on blind dates and it has to be Nigga laughing. Yeah, you fucking dumbass. Honest with you. Another trend that's pretty How my day been? Shit. Enough said my brother. Just I I just had a I, I just had a beef patty for me. I said, "I right, it's time to spark. It's been a minute. I'm currently um creating the DFA confessions video and I didn't even finish. I should have finished it last night, but I was like, "Yo, if I want to be able to wake up and have be actually be energized to stream, I gotta go to sleep now. These videos I'll probably do it on stream. Harder than crack in the 80s. I can't tell you how many black content creators I've seen milking the absolute life. You at out of 510 pounds? Now, if you don't know what a 20 v one is, well, it's whatever helps you, you sleep at night. He's spinning a little. Speed date one. That's how YouTube is nowadays. Show, that one yo, 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 Thrash. What happened to what happened to our video? It was. I feel. I feel like like did it did it seem whack? Like after looking at the footage, like was it dirt or some shit? Yo, Thrash, I know how I get down. I ain't gonna lie. I had that bit squirting on that shit. On oh, God, what are you talking about? Oh, 510 subs. I thought you were talking about 510 pounds. I thought you were trying to cut my ass. Fuck the 510. I mean, fuck the beef patty. You at 510? That's a fact. Fake look staged. Mmm, I feel it. It was probably it was probably because of me. I probably wasn't. If I was high, would have been, would have been, would have been valid. Picks their favorite out of the. You gotta build that fan base. I'm pretty sure this video no? idea was like created by Jubilee, popularized by the Sidemen, and then the black community just took it by storm. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some steering fluid 20 v ones out there, but then you got channels out here who are posting 20 v ones every single week. For example, No Love Mar. <laughs> Yo, you can't be, you, you can't be on Mars dick though. Look at that count, nigga. One. Point forty four million, nigga. nigga. That's OC. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie, that's tough, nigga. Can't front, nigga. Nigga, yo, nigga did some shit with with Emily Chopper. That shit went cool. I didn't even know niggas cared about that shit like that. Now, if you don't know who No Love Mar is, well, he's a pretty big black YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers. But when you take a look at this man's channel, basically all of his videos are 20 v one. Some deaths. So I wouldn't be surprised if this man. You owe six bands. Shit. And change his name to Cupid. The way he's helping out everyone find love. I wouldn't be surprised if this man did a 20 v one with the whole entire United States for his next video. Honestly, at this point, this man should put me in a 20 v one to help me find some action. Like, come Carrot, on. And what's crazy some is that this man is so obsessed with 20 v ones that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20 v one with Krishan Rock, and he wanted to do that idea first. I mean All right, so with that, so with this right here, this altercation, mm, I was told. Because I was like, it was told like, Mar told Sean and Sean told me. I don't think that's this is really what happened. I'm not gonna talk on that situation to be honest, because I don't really fucking care. To be honest, I don't. I mean, there's literally. But it wasn't actually Mar who 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 initiated it though. Entire videos of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio, them beating up the other guys, and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to YouTube. Number one, what happened to Shame? Who genuinely wants to speed date the Snaggletooth demon Krishan Rock? Yeah, I don't know. Yo, 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 yo. I don't know why they did this, bro. Like, I understand it was for content, but it's like, yo, gang, y'all realistically know she's not fucking none of these niggas. You feel me? And I thought when it comes to YouTubers, I thought. Like when it comes to certain shit like this, it's like morely so like a, a like a like you're tricking the audience to thinking something, right? You think you think in reality if 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 the 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 20 v1, if the one picks one of the out of the 20, y'all would think, "Oh, they're going to they're actually going to match up." No, nigga, it's just for content, right? But it's like when you put people like Charleston White or Krishan Rock or fucking little Duval with a wife. Nigga, what makes you think the audience is gonna think, oh, this is this is so real, nigga. Obviously it's not real, but at least make it seem or boosy. Boosy badass. Like, what's making you think this is a good idea to get them on for content? Gang, it don't make no sense, bro. In my opinion, this doesn't make oh, what's good, Kaden? Don't really care about streaming. He do cash out flips now. Unfortunate. A woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, oh, nah. why are you out here jumping? You better chill for she punch you in your face, nigga. Upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than twenty v ones. That's why with me, like, result to jumping. I'm trying my best to really, really find my community and grow this motherfucker. Cause you can, you can definitely strive off of just being variety. Look at Queso, 
Nigga, Queso did it before me. That nigga's going crazy. That nigga just had 90. Oh, no, nah, that wasn't him. That was Jinxie. This nigga has 60K views playing fucking bullshit, playing free demo games every night. I'm going to show you. Bro. That shit is possible, bro. People because they make the same style of yeah, they backed out. Imagine if Moist guns and fucking slapped him in his face. I fought him because of that. Isn't that the stupidest thing ever? Like, it just doesn't make sense at all. And what's even worse is that that would be a very black thing of you to do. This man does he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get $750. Oh, clicking the link in the description. Yo, I'm weak. Yo, everyone in, in, in Sean's comments started like calling him out for that shit. Because basically, if y'all don't know, whenever we watch this, I'll be skipping him. Bro, these niggas be promoting like some shit where you get like seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Bro, that shit is a scam, nigga. You're getting scammed, nigga. Sean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're a fucking fraud. That shit is a scam. She's a fucking scam. What actually happens? Basically, I don't know if it's an IP thing, but you guess you get dumbass niggas to contribute play the fucking games and it's like i don't know i guess it's like an activation where like it gives it gives the youtuber certain amounts of money or some shit i don't know bro. and you get nothing from them i mean there's literally entire videos on youtube exposing these scams he gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking the link but you as a yeah that's that's what i was saying like they get paid I mean, why they get paid out of like niggas fifty dollars they would be broke if they just decide to do that it just shows how greedy of a youtuber this man is but i'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident you also have this other youtuber right hey man you gotta understand though in the in in in, in the um in the grand scheme of things to in order to really get a nice paycheck out of youtube you gotta understand your shit needs to be at a hundred thousand views and it really depends on your RPM, nigga. Me, realistically, like, let's say, let's say you're not a YouTuber, right? You would think 10K views would pay. Nigga, that's not paying fucking shit. You feel me? You have to obtain 100,000 views, which also means, nigga, you have to outperform basically anyone in your own, in your own bracket of content. You feel me? 10K is not even $15, gang. That's nothing. Actually, actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. 10K is 10K is actually more than fifteen dollars. Because as of right now, let's say if let's say if when I get monetized, my hundred views, that's like thirty dollars, I think. <laughs> it's like thirty dollars. So so do I remember you? Yeah, of course I remember you, gang. I be seeing I be seeing your um your notification all the time. It's not? You don't think so? I mean, it's not. Mm. It, it probably isn't. I don't know. That that that's a video for another day. I actually want to see, but but one thing I do know though is like, nigga, you have to be averaging a hundred thousand views basically, practically every every video to even at least accumulate some bands. Like a hundred k, depending on the RPM, is gonna be like twelve k, eight k. Right here, named Real X Sean and. <laughs> Basically, a bunch of his videos are at $750 cash app that you're never going to get. And then you got another 20v1 YouTuber right here named Ryan with the song. Yeah, this nigga got a five head. It was good, Harry. Mahomes. Oh, yeah, we, we're going to watch the highlights of yesterday, too. We're going to watch the highlights of, of yesterday's game. Cash app. And what's also crazy for my basketball niggas YouTubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them. The only difference is the people in the 20v1s. The intros are all the same. The editing is all the same. Hell, even it's just how fast you get views. Football, you mean? Nah, nigga, there was a basketball game yesterday. Yo, Pesos with the... Wait, what happened to your... Which Pesos is this? Pesos with the big follow. Appreciate my boy, no cow. We're going to DFA, homie. Super Bowl just passed? Yeah, I know. Can personalities of all these YouTubers are all... You talking about Mahomes? Nigga! Nigga. I don't care that y'all was talking about Mahomes. I read... When I read the comment, I was like, oh, shit. It made me, it made me remember that we're going to watch the highlights of basketball okay okay is that fine niggas niggas eating off gaming videos i mean yeah but like it has to do like it has to be like fucking a million views though i mean that's what i was i was told by a by by, by a by a uh a, a old fortnite fucking youtuber that them shit that shit don't really pay well and he showed me he showed me the paycheck shit and all that mega mine what are you doing if this happens to you? 
If what happens to me? The same. Even the freaking scam in the video. They're all doing the same $750 I'm weak. Hey, Bella. scam. Even the scam in the video is the exact same. These dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory, bro. Like, they're just printed every single freaking week. Every week, I see it. I feel like, yo, with the cash up shit, I, f I really feel like that shit is kind of fucked up, though. Because this niggas, like, you gotta understand. When you're a YouTuber and you actually make good content that people love, they create, they, they, they build a love for you because they like watching you, gang. So you like you not really scamming niggas. It's not really a scam because you not like I'm not taking nothing from you if I was to be doing that. I'm just giving you the 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 intuition that you're gonna get paid, and nigga, you not. So it's like, why are you lying to your supporters? I don't know. That's just me. Up and coming I don't know, man. What's also crazy is that these dudes will have Yo, Bella, how was your day? They're 20 V1s, which is very sad. For you guys that don't know, there's this rapper named La Tyler, and he's 17 years old. And the YouTuber No Love. Is he Tyler, actually? He made a video with La Tyler. He made a 20 V1. Yo, I thought he was 18 already. And it's disgusting, if I'm being honest with you. Come on, come on. You're being subjective. This nigga's being subjective, bro. Uh, right here, you being subjective, and you basically just dick rotting. Because if you were 17 with motion, you would not say the same thing, gang. I know a lot of niggas in this chat right here that would have been like, whew, let me get up in there. 18? Yeah, nah, that nigga young. My son Caden would have went crazy right here if, if he had the hose on him. So it's like, you're being subjective, gang. Talking about some, ugh, it's so disgusting. <laughs> he was 15 last year? Nah, that nigga was like... I don't think it's bad. Like Because look, look, he got old... He got bitches my age on his body. You know how OC that is? See y'all vibing with each other. You peep the vibe. We grown. We grown. Nah. <laughs> grown women in there asking a 17 year old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. What do you mean, is he husband material? That's just odd. And you can't say 17 is close to 18, but at the end of the day. Hey, nigga. It's not close to 18, but it is legal. If you sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But what's even no, it's not. Is, is this nigga retarded? Nigga, the, the, the age of consent is 17 years old. What's good, Cal? Which is kind of crazy. But shit. I ain't made the, the fucking rules. Depends on the state. Nigga, in Florida, this was in Florida. This video right here was in Florida. The age of consent in Florida is not 16. Oh, it's 18. <laughs> yeah. That's better. Nah, this is kind of weird, though. Why is Florida saying you got to be 18 to get some pussy? But in New York, it's 17. I feel like New York people have sex way more than Florida. I mean, that's probably nah. That's not true. As Florida people, like the weather is always nice. So niggas going to be fucking way more. So they read not a pedophile then you grew up. You grow faster in the towns, true. So Vay's not a pedophile. Um, when she fucked that nigga, I gotta understand what makes you a pedophile. She f most likely fucked that nigga. Is she fucked him in New York? No. But the fact that she's over my age, I think I'm older than her. I don't know how old she is. But the fact that she's like around my age, fucking a seventeen-year-old, a seventeen-year-old is crazy but it wasn't illegal she's 22 same age as me if i fuck a 17 year old right now uh, yo fbi please don't indict me if i theoretically if i fuck a 17 year old right now i will not go to jail i will look down upon because nigga you 22 and you get bitches why the fuck you fucking a 17 year old you feel me with they the only, tr like, let's be real, gang. Yo, I don't want to say nothing crazy because I do plan on doing a stream with her soon. Fuck it. They fuck that nigga because she fucks whoever. No offense. You ever see this? I'm just talking to my people, babe. Just chill. You feel me? Like, she fucked that nigga. He was 15. What about Dida? Oh, nigga, that was for content, though. She said she would fuck, but it's like, nigga, that was, he was not 15 at that time. Come on. Was he 15 in that video? If he, if he was 15 in that video, shame on, shame on Idris or Nodi, whoever, whoever, did, whoever made that video. He's 15 right now. D-Dot? Wait, what?
Et... This little nigga's 15 right now. Yo, this nigga's 15 years old. I thought he was 17. Oh my god. Oh my god. I swear to god, I thought this little nigga was 17 years old. Holy f This nigga got more jewelry than me. And he's 15 years old. Someone take this shit off of him. There's no way. How old is how old is his brother? How, how, what's that little nigga name? What's that little nigga name? And dot. What's that nigga name? What's that other little nigga name? Naughty. Nah, I'm not talking about that dead kid. I'm talking about the other one. Didi Osama. Nigga, not famous enough. That's tough. Okay, this one's seventeen. Okay, bro, that little nigga fifteen. Yo, is she dead? I said she would fuck him. I feel like she did that for the she did that for the clout, to be honest. That she wasn't being serious. There's no way she was being serious. But the nigga she did fuck though, that nigga was 17. You feel me? It's not it's not crazy. It's it's crazy, but it's not illegal. You feel me? And I feel like she really just fucked that nigga. Not because of his age. She fucked him just because she she fucked whoever could talk. Mm, I can't I can't say nothing crazy, bro. I gotta I gotta I gotta filter myself, bro. And for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine. That are popular all on the 18. He's not like the main character in these 20 v ones. He's like that little assist character that you have in free. That nigga pop. Bro, K Flock is like 18 I mean, years old. As you can see right here, there's literally a video called I'm, I'm trying to get mine with Nini. Oh no nah, no nah, yo, I'm I gotta do content with Nini too. Help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine year old to help you find love? Yo it's it's called a concept, dickhead. What are you talking about, gang? It's called a concept, niggas. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Also got the YouTuber King Sid, who's also been doing many videos with Lil RT, and he's not doing them in like the right way. He's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally you know Bandit. I know a rapper named Bandit. He did a video named Lil RT swipes twenty guys for his mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just Honey K Bandit. Yeah, what about him? Cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. If I would have cursed in front of my mom, I wouldn't be here making this video today. If I'm being real with you, but yeah, yeah Free Bandit. How these guys that's the Suvi videos, and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face to face smash your passes. I was in them. Which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch. If you don't know what this is, well, it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up, and one by one, they basically go through these lines and say "smash" or "pass" to the person they're standing right in front of. It's pretty sad when you really think about it. But, but bro, gang, are you incel? How is this sad, bro? It is. It's a face to face with other people trying to see if they can connect with each other intimately. How you? How is that sad, nigga? You have to be incel, like. You might not be able to get bitches. I had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes. I'm not going to lie. I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube. That's pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean, imagine giving. Yo, just, my nigga, just say you're whitewashed and you enjoy white YouTubers instead, gang. Like, bro. To a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass and like i said earlier a lot of black youtube their content just revolves around just extremely horny content public interviews i mean you know the whole gay son or thought daughter thing find your match which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their matches and stuff overall nigga what's wrong with that nigga jubilee does the same fucking thing and they're white problem with black youtube is that number one it's just unoriginal everybody's just copying off each other and that is true. A lot of niggas are just copying each other. Bro, that's kind of that that's not what YouTube is supposed to be about, but it's like it's like a seasonal thing. And expecting to become the biggest black YouTuber of all time with zero originality, which is absolutely crazy. And number two, all these videos <laughs> are just based around the <laughs> I can't even say that. I'm gonna get banned. Kids to click on them. And then once these kids click on them, they're just gonna freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the seven hundred fifty dollar cash app scam just so they can get paid. Overall, black YouTube yeah, is I'll go down atrocious right now. And it's honestly sad to see, bro. But yeah, this is gonna wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video. It'll be somewhere. No, I will not, because you your content is based on you hating. Look, the worst. Like, now, 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 if I if I go, I can quickly an analyze your content, okay? 33 Cray. I said Cray. 33K. Okay, that's calm. 
The problem, worst, must be stopped. Sad reality, cringe, ruining, toxic, hates. All of your keywords are built for hatred, nigga. Your content revolves around hating. Luckily, it, it gives you views. Luckily, it gives you views. But it's like me personally, I'm not about to come on YouTube to just give a hate rant. You feel me? 100 videos. He most likely archived half of his videos. That's one thing you got to you got to understand. Like, most likely archived his videos. But it's like me, like this, this, a, this multiple different types of like category like videos that you can do. But I, like the only few that I'm not doing, I would never think of doing is on some food shit. Nah, I would probably do some food shit with a bitch, maybe, along the line. But I wouldn't do that to say, like, to start your own YouTube, right? I'm not, I'm not giving no reviews. I'm not, sh I'm not fucking ranting. And I'm not fucking, what's the other, what's the other shit? And I'm not doing overly horny shit.